I carry on with assignment number 14. We were discussing algebra. So the first thing we got to remember in algebra. Let's compare arithmetic with algebra. In arithmetic, suppose you are told sum of 2 and 3. These are given in words and then we convert that and we write it as 2 plus 3. Now, what is given in words is called a statement. So that's called a statement. So we can consider this to be an arithmetic statement. And what we write it in signs and symbols and numbers can be termed as the arithmetic form. Similarly, when it comes to algebra, suppose this is given to you, sum of A and B. So, we convert that into A plus B. So, this becomes the algebraic statement and this becomes the arithmetic form. So, sometimes the algebraic form, algebraic statement is given, we convert that into an algebraic form. Or sometimes an algebraic form is given, we convert that into algebraic statement. Next. Understanding constants and variables. Now what is constant in English? Constant means something that remains the same. And variable comes from the word vary, V-A-R-Y. Which means something that is different or something that changes. Now constants, the numbers for example, are all, these are all constants. The numbers are all constant. Whereas the alphabets are variables. When a number and an alphabet is mixed together, for example, 2a, it becomes a variable. Minus 3x is a variable. So what we understand from constant and variables is when only the numbers are there, they are constants and when the alphabets are there along with the numbers at times, they are called variables. Next. Understanding of like terms and unlike terms. Let's look at x. When I write x in algebra, there is a 1 in front of it. And the power of x is also 1. Similarly, when I look this side, this is 1 x to the power of 1, which we only write it as x. So, suppose I write a, it means 1 a to the power of 1. Now, in like terms, what we got to see is whether the alphabets are same and the power of the alphabets are same. Now, you can see very clearly, the alphabets are the same, x and x, and the power of x is 1, power of x is 1. So, this can be termed as a like term. If I look at these two, y and y square, the alphabets are the same, but the power of the alphabets are different. Therefore, these are unlike terms. If I look at 2a and a, both the, these have a, power of a is 1, power of a is 1. Therefore, these two are like terms. Don't think about the number in the front. I have a 1 here. This is 2 and this is 1. But I'm not bothered about the number in the front. What I'm bothered about is the alphabet and the power of the alphabet. Alphabet and the power of the alphabet. Similarly, I've got a squared here and a squared here. So these two are the same, like terms. At the same time, there may be cases where you may have xy and yx. Now, in this case, the alphabets are the same. xy, here also I have an xy. With x having power 1, y having power 1, same over here also. So, these two are the are like terms. You may have xy squared 
and x squared y. Alphabets are the same, but the power of the alphabets are different. So these are unlike terms. Now, we were talking in terms of terms here. So what are terms? When they are together, one single thing is called a term. This is a term. This is a term. Now when we come here, when we come here, we are talking in terms of expression. Now expressions will have many terms or it could have a single term. Like for example, A is an also an expression. But A is an expression with only one single term. 2A plus 4B. There are two terms involved here. And similarly, here are but three terms involved. So the first one has one term, second one has two terms, and the third one here has three terms. When there is only one term, we got to understand that it is called one term will be called a monomial. Will be called a monomial. Similarly, when it comes to two terms, we call it binomial. Binomial. Similarly, three terms will be called trinomial. can call it a polynomial also. That means a binomial can also be called a polynomial. A trinomial can also be called a polynomial. To find out the number of terms. Terms are always separated by a plus sign or a minus sign. I repeat. Terms are separated by a plus sign or a minus sign. So if I look at this these two terms are separated by a plus sign, which means there are two terms here. Two terms means it's a binomial. If you look at this, this is where the separation is. These two are not separated by a plus sign or a minus sign, it's separated by a multiplication sign. So I consider this to be one single term and I consider this to be another term. So here also I've got two terms. If I look at this one here, this becomes one single term, then a plus here, then a minus here, which means there are three terms here. So we can consider that to be a trinomial. Now to find the coefficient of A. Coefficient of A, we understand that is a 1 in the front here when it comes to A. So coefficient of A will be 1. The remaining things that are there in the term. Similarly, if I look at this, 2A, coefficient of A will be 2. If I look at minus A, that means this has minus 1A. So coefficient of A will be minus 1. And if I look at the last one, coefficient of A will be all the other things that are left over that is minus 3B minus 3B so that is when we find the coefficient of a given alphabet numerical coefficient now what does this mean we have done coefficient now we are coming to numerical coefficient we understand there is a 1 in the front of A so numerical coefficient means the number in front. That is one. Similarly, the number in front here is 2. Number in front here is minus 5. Number here minus 1. And now number in front here is minus 3 by 2. So this is numerical coefficient. The degree of the polynomial. 
Now, when we look for the degree of the polynomial, what we see is which of the terms has the highest power. Now, the, there are two terms here. This has power 1 and this has power 2. The power here is 2. Therefore, the degree of the polynomial is 2. If I look at these three here, the one with the highest power is 3 over here. So, the degree of the polynomial is 3. If I look at the last one, now if I look over here, I've got A, B. A has power 1, B has power 1. The total is 2. Similarly, if I look at this one, A has 2 and B has 2. So, the power, total of the power is 4. And the total of the power here is 5, 2 and 3. So, the degree of this will be the highest one, that is 5.